This is the story of Liu Fan, who reincarnated as a golden lion with big balls. I mean he reincarnated with a system that made him stronger no matter what he did, whether it was breathing, eating, or anything else. The story begins with the revival of spiritual energy in the heart of Lion's Mountain which triggered a chaotic response from the ferocious beasts that roamed the land. The creatures once dormant now ran rampant in a nearby valley. Amidst the turmoil, a girl in tattered clothes sprinted desperately, but she had two huge problems. The first one was that she was tired and the second was that she was being pursued by a group of soldiers who shouted commands at her to stop and surrender. But the girl pressed on, her eyes catching sight of the beasts charging through the valley. Frustration boiled among the soldiers, and one of them lost patience and fired a bullet. The commander rebuked the hasty action and reminded him that ferocious monsters inhabited this territory. But it was too late, suddenly a mutant pig leaped out of the valley, landing menacingly before the soldiers. The commander realized that the bullet must have struck the creature's fangs. Enraged, the mutant pig charged at the soldiers, who gripped by horror fled from the oncoming threat. The commander demanded that they stand their ground, but nobody paid heed to his orders. In a daring move, he retrieved a rocket launcher and launched a rocket at the mutant pig, but he was left astonished when the mutant pig skillfully dodged the projectile. The commander quickly started loading another rocket, sure that one more shot was enough to take it down. However, a sudden thunderous roar echoed through the entire forest, interrupting the tense standoff. Upon the cliff, the regal figure of the ruler of Lion's Mountain, the Golden Lion, materialized. A soldier was awestruck by the lion's appearance and questioned if the lion's fur was real gold. His dumb companion suggested a test and began firing bullets at the majestic creature. The Golden Lion charged through the hail of bullets, leaped off the cliff, and gracefully landed on the ground. With a powerful swipe of his paw, he sent the dumb soldier hurtling away. The commander saw this and aimed the rocket launcher at the golden lion, yelling a challenge. However, the lion swiftly closed the distance, inserting his finger into the launcher's muzzle. The resulting reverse blast decimated the commander. Surveying the aftermath, he noticed the lifeless bodies of soldiers scattered around. A moment of introspection led him to acknowledge that this was his fault for being too strong and not controlling his strength. But he also blamed the soldiers for leading the beast tied to the lion's mountain. Internally, he reflected on his human origins. His name was Liu Fan, an orphan who had barely graduated from university and had started working as a part-timer. However, he accidentally crossed to the Earth Star and was reborn as a demonic beast, the Golden Lion. Suddenly, notifications flooded in, informing him that his stats had increased. Lion cried out in frustration and questioned why the system was enhancing his strength no matter what he did. He then turned his attention to the mutant pig, but the creature was intimidated and hastily retreated. Another message arrived, indicating that by scaring the weak wild boar, his prestige had increased. Just then, Beast Parrot arrived and started praising him for effortlessly eliminating a group of monkeys with a mere movement. But Golden Lion told him to stop the flattery and inquired about the girl pursued by the soldiers. A Beast Green Snake provided unfortunate news. The girl had been affected by the explosion and fallen into the wave of monsters. Golden Lion peered down from the cliff, witnessing the monsters bowing to him. Another message flashed, congratulating him for gaining prestige points for subjugating the monster wave. Amidst the beasts, an unconscious woman lay injured and unresponsive. Golden Lion with his big balls approached her and the monsters made a way for him to walk through. He observed her closely and detected that the girl was clearly dead, but there was a peculiar energy surrounding her. To unravel the mystery, he exhaled a purple mist at the girl. In an unexpected turn, a soul emerged from her body, hovering in the air. As the girl's eyes met the Golden Lion's, he smiled, recognizing the uniqueness of this unforeseen encounter. Within the depths of Lion's Mountain, inside a cavern, the ghost girl wept as the golden lion reclined on his throne. He told her not to cry and reminded her that the dead have no tears. He then suggested that if she didn't want to turn into a ghost, she should go and get reincarnated. However, he was interrupted by a system message stating that a ghost had been detected, recommending he bind with it as soon as possible. Golden Lion was startled by this unexpected message, as he hadn't done anything to trigger such a system notification. Filled with bewilderment, he questioned the appearance of this message since, so far, he had only received stat point increase notifications. Determined not to be deceived by the system, he resolved to make careful plans and prioritize completing the mission. Amidst his musings, a voice interjected saying that he had gone overboard. It noted that the ghost girl was genuinely afraid. 
Green Candle Demon approached the girl, soothing her fears and explaining that the king's intentions were not malicious. The king had infused his demonic energy into her soul to condense it, and she herself had also relied on his energy to transform into a demon. However, solely depending on the king's demonic aura wasn't sufficient to complete her transformation into a demon. Two conditions needed to be met. The first was her special constitution, and the second was the obsession in her heart. Intrigued by the circumstances that led the girl to be pursued by humans, Candle Demon asked for her story. The ghost girl hesitated at first, but after some time, she revealed that her name was Xiao Ling and she was a resident of Mang Village, situated on the northern mountainside of Lion's Mountain. After the restoration of spiritual energy, the people in her village began disappearing one by one, leaving only about 20 to 30 people. A few days prior, a group of armed soldiers stormed the peaceful settlement, taking villagers captive. The soldiers commanded the captives to maintain silence and issued an order for an old man to head into the forest. The old man pleaded to be spared from entering the forest where he had lost his son but was met with brutality. The soldier threatened him by pointing a gun at his grandson, causing the old man to comply with their commands. With a heavy heart, he walked into the ominous forest. As he traversed the woodland, he experienced unbearable pain, and his legs trembled. Suddenly, his eyes turned red, and veins bulged on his forehead. In a mysterious and sudden turn of events, he vanished before everyone's eyes, leaving them bewildered. But the soldiers forced more villagers into the forest. Each time, the same strange phenomenon occurred, the villagers would vanish without a trace. Xiao Ling realized that the soldiers were using the villagers to find their way through the mysterious forest. The disappearance of each villager served as a marker, forcing the next one in line to move forward. A soldier announced that they were nearing their destination, marking it as the last attempt. The attention then shifted to Xiao Ling, and the soldier instructed her to enter the forest. The black fog of the forest seemed to have hallucinogenic effects, and as she walked into the fog, she unconsciously moved in one direction. Suddenly, she saw her parents and called out to them. However, her foot slipped, and she fell down, losing consciousness. Upon regaining awareness, Xiao Ling found herself confronted with the true purpose of their journey, the flower, and the coffin. She realized that these people had destroyed her village, forcing her parents into the black fog to obtain these items. She could not destroy the coffin, so she decided to consume the mysterious flower. However, after ingesting the flower, her body became remarkably light, and her eyes could now see clearly at night. Soon the soldiers discovered the place, so she had to hide and watch as they took away the coffin. A man shouted at the soldiers, questioning them about the flower. He insisted on acquiring both the coffin and the flower, threatening not to pay any money if they failed to deliver both items. After failing to find the flower, they started chasing her, and eventually, she arrived at Lion's Mountain. Candle Demon expressed anger at the evil human's actions and cursed them. The Golden Lion sat in contemplation and realized that Xiao Ling had consumed the flower from the coffin, granting her a special constitution. He then thought about the second condition, the obsession that had appeared in her heart, revenge. He recognized that the coffin and flowers that drove mercenaries mad must be some kind of treasure. Since this had happened in his area, he felt uncomfortable not knowing the whole story. It was the first time spiritual energy had appeared, so he couldn't help but wonder what changes the second spiritual energy would bring and the system had also asked him to bind with the ghost. So, he approached her and stated that he didn't care about her past, but if she became his ghost, her matter would become his matter. He looked at her with a smile and asked if she was willing to be his ghost. Xiao Ling, with teary eyes, expressed her willingness to follow him forever. Golden Lion received a message confirming the successful completion of the task. The reward for completing this task was one young body fragment, and the message specified that ten fragments could be exchanged for a complete young body. Golden Lion exclaimed in shock and wondered whether this meant he could become human again. Ever since he was born as the Golden Lion, he was given a system that made him stronger regardless of what he did. However, now the system had begun assigning missions and rewarding him upon their completion. As he examined the upcoming mission, which entailed aiding the ghost in overcoming her obsession, he noticed a reward labeled as a mysterious opportunity. He speculated that if a mere fragment could potentially restore his young body, then this mysterious opportunity must be even more amazing. Turning to Xiao Ling, he inquired about her current goal. Was it vengeance against those who wronged her? Xiao Ling hesitated, swearing that she did not want to cause trouble for him. 
With a sorrowful look, she remarked that now she was his ghost and didn't have a home either. There were people she cared about, but none of them were alive, and she didn't want to put others in danger. Golden Lion realized that despite her young age, she had a heart full of worries. Suddenly, he exhaled purple mist, conjuring a small golden lion. Presenting it to her, he declared it was his clone and tasked with ensuring her protection. He explained that the imminent second surge of spiritual energy would not only bring beast waves, but also transformations to Lion's Mountain. Hence, his original form needed to remain here to safeguard their home. He then emitted a pink bubble containing something inside it. The bubble soared towards her, settling on her hand. When the bubble burst, Xiao Ling discovered a dagger within. Observing the unique animal fang, she sensed its exceptional sharpness and potent energy, wondering if this was the king's energy. Golden Lion explained that traversing the black fog was a difficult task, so it was good to have a sharp weapon. Xiao Ling was surprised by his generosity and thanked him. Just then, Candle Demon also transformed into a mini version, suggesting that since the road ahead had black fog she would need light for the challenging journey. Xiao Ling smiled and expressed her gratitude. Sometime later, in the northern lion's mountainside at Mang Village, the trio walked through the forest. Xiao Ling pointed out that this was the area where their villagers had vanished that night. The candle demon inquired about the previously mentioned black fog, and Xiao Ling clarified that it had dissipated after moving the coffin. Meanwhile, the golden lion sensed a strong ghost aura in the vicinity. A few moments later, they encountered some lifeless skeletons further ahead. Xiao Ling's gaze fixed on one of the skeletons, recognizing Grandpa Lai's clothes. With a heavy heart, she lamented that they had all fallen victim to the black mist. Candle Demon expressed horror at the malevolence of the situation, contemplating how those who perished yesterday had turned into bones today. Golden Lion began chanting a prayer to release the trapped souls. Ethereal light ascended to the sky as the spirits found liberation. He then informed her that he had purged the wronged souls, allowing them to enter the cycle of reincarnation. Grateful, Xiao Ling thanked him, but the lion himself wasn't sure if these unjust dead ghosts, who had absorbed spiritual energy at Lion's Mountain would truly be able to enter the reincarnation cycle. After burying the bodies, Candle Demon expressed a hope for the deceased to rest in peace. However, Xiao Ling revealed her ongoing concern about not finding her parents. Candle Demon suggested digging deeper, but before they could proceed, Golden Lion warned of nearby people. Despite the absence of war, the smell of gunpowder indicated that these individuals were heavily armed. Xiao Ling, alarmed, looked toward the location, realizing it was where the coffin used to be. She questioned whether these people were still there, recognizing the potential danger. At the location, three soldiers were engrossed in their meal. One of the angry soldiers expressed admiration for Xiao Ling's hiding ability and suggested that if they caught her, they could enjoy themselves and then kill her. Frustrated, he complained about his inability to eat. A sly soldier teased him for having bad taste and questioned if they would find it wonderful dining with a pair of corpses. Confused, their commander asked for clarification. The sly soldier kicked a skeleton's head, revealing that these were the girl's parents. If she wanted to find them, she would have to return to this spot. And then, they burst into laughter. Xiao Ling, witnessing this heartless scene, felt anger bubbling within her. However, Golden Lion restrained her and warned that someone else was approaching. Indeed, a helicopter arrived, and a figure could be seen descending from it using a rope. A robust woman soon arrived, and the soldiers greeted her as leader Mei Yun. Mei Yun questioned whether the foolish Lui had discovered the coffin. The commander clarified that they were still on the lookout for the flower. However, Mei Yun dismissed the significance of the flower, considering it a useless item. To her, the real treasures were the engravings on the coffin. She then leaped into a pit, scooped up some soil, and declared it to be the thing she was looking for, three life soul soil. Just then, a message appeared before Golden Lion, shocking him. The message revealed that the system had detected the three life soul soil, and he gained a new attribute called demonic knowledge. Golden Lion was surprised, as it was his first time acquiring the demonic knowledge attribute. This attribute allowed him to vividly perceive the intricate details of his veins. He then looked at the green snake's vein lying in front of him. However, she misinterpreted his gaze and blushingly questioned him about it. But our single virgin Golden Lion redirected his attention and never looked back at her. He then pondered on how the system was making him stronger regardless of his actions, but he had never awakened such a special ability before. He could now even see the spiritual energy surging within the veins. Suddenly, a shocked expression appeared on his face as he noticed that many spiritual energy veins were converging at a single point. 
Meanwhile, at the location of the coffin on the mountainside near Mang village, the commander praised Mei Yun for her significant achievement in discovering such valuable soil. Mei Yun smirked and asserted that what she had accomplished wasn't a great achievement. The commander understood her intention, chuckled, and assured her that they would keep it a secret. But Mei Yun abruptly turned, brandishing her dagger, and ominously declared that only the dead could keep secrets. She offered them a chance to die a painless death and ordered them to end their own lives. The soldiers realized the imminent danger. They shouted curses at her and started firing bullets at her. Mei Yun remained unfazed and her bracelet suddenly glowed granting her some kind of ability. With a swift maneuver, she slashed her sword and eliminated all foes in an instant. Mei Yun walked confidently toward the pit and mocked Lui, who had expended life-saving treasures, manpower, and numerous resources. However, in the end, she was the one who reaped the most benefits. She declared that Lui's blindness was to blame and emphasized that while the coffin might be precious, the three life soul soil was more magical. Mei Yun then made a cut on her palm and dropped some blood on a stone that emitted a strange aura. She revealed her cunning plan, crediting her idea of using villagers to lead them to the coffin. Xiao Ling, fueled by anger, attacked Mei Yun from behind. However, somehow Mei Yun sensed the threat instinctively and swiftly slashed her sword. Xiao Ling ducked down in panic and managed to dodge the attack. Candle Demon was shocked and questioned how Mei Yun had sensed the impending attack. Meanwhile, Xiao Ling came to the realization that she need not fear being cut by a sword, as she was a ghost. Mei Yun, now aware of an intruder, cautiously stepped back, only to realize that no one was there. However, she remained convinced that her bracelet couldn't be wrong. Retrieving a pair of glasses, she put them on and spotted Xiao Ling, whom she referred to as a small ghost. Xiao Ling shouted her intent to seek revenge for her parents. Mei Yun mocked her, questioning who she was and when she had supposedly killed her parents. Xiao Ling was shocked to hear that she didn't remember her. Mei Yun smirked and stated that she couldn't remember how many ants she had killed before. Xiao Ling lost her cool after hearing this and charged at her, and the fierce battle commenced. Golden Lion observed the scene and was puzzled by Mei Yun's lack of surprise or fear upon encountering a ghost. He speculated it might not be her first time confronting ghosts, and maybe she even had a way of dealing with them. Golden Lion noticed something wrong, and he reacted swiftly, sending a golden energy to pull Xiao Ling away from harm. Thankfully, she wasn't injured, and only a little of her clothes were torn. Xiao Ling was shocked and wondered how it was even possible since she didn't have a physical form. Mei Yun acknowledged the quick reaction and revealed that her sword was designed to deal with ghosts. Xiao Ling realized that now she could only dodge and wait for a blind spot to appear. Candle Demon urged the Golden Lion to intervene and assist, as Xiao Ling had just become a ghost and was no match for an awakener. Golden Lion's eyes glowed with murderous intent and accompanied by an evil smile. He declared that revenge is exacted by one's own hand. Mei Yun's bracelet glowed, and she swung her sword confidently, certain that it was going to hit her opponent. However, she was left shocked when she realized that no one was there. Xiao Ling seized the opportunity and caught her in a deadlock. Mei Yun was shocked and couldn't understand how her bracelet could be wrong. After the battle concluded, Golden Lion approached the scene and commended Xiao Ling's performance in her first battle. Candle Demon was confused and sought an explanation for the situation. Golden Lion revealed that Mei Yun's bracelet was a magical weapon capable of detecting killing intent and informing her about the direction of attacks. This explained why she had dodged Xiao Ling's initial attack. Later, she used goggles to confirm her presence, but she ultimately trusted the bracelet more, as she might have suffered under illusion spells in the past. Consequently, Mei Yun no longer believed entirely in what she saw. Candle Demon grasped the strategy and realized that he had used killing intent to disrupt her senses. Golden Lion then cautioned Xiao Ling against recklessness in the future. However, just then, a figure appeared behind Xiao Ling and accused her of having hidden helpers. Xiao Ling was taken aback and wondered how Mei Yun had revived. In a swift move, Mei Yun attacked, but Xiao Ling skillfully blocked the assault with her knife. Knowing that Mei Yun's weapon was designed to combat ghosts, and considering both Candle Demon and King were in soul states, she was determined to keep her at bay. Seizing an opportunity, Xiao Ling deftly parried Mei Yun's assault and managed to successfully sever her arm. Candle Demon applauded her strength and acknowledged her impressive skills. However, the unexpected happened as threads emerged from Mei Yun's severed arm, miraculously reattaching it to the wounded limb. Golden Lion was certain that Mei Yun had died, so he couldn't help but wonder how her clone remained alive. He then employed his recently acquired skill, Demonic Knowledge, to perceive an aura that he identified as Three Life Soul Soil. Remembering that Mei Yun had previously dropped her blood on the spirit soil, 
he deduced the origin of her resilience. Taking advantage of her reattached arm, Mei Yun wielded it as a whip and launched an attack on Xiao Ling. Despite the increased reach, Xiao Ling strategically blocked the assaults, noting that her extended attack range came at the cost of slowing down her sword drawing speed. Finally identifying an opening, she closed in and delivered a decisive strike, slashing Mei Yun across the chest. However, this action backfired as bloody threads emerged from her wound, attempting to ensnare Xiao Ling. Candle Demon urgently turned to Golden Lion and urged him to intervene. But he hesitated because his clone was also a primordial spirit copy, and it would be terrible if he got hurt. He didn't want to risk his life. Mei Yun successfully captured Xiao Ling, leaving no room to escape. Xiao Ling had lost all hope, but just then, a golden light cut through the bloody threads, and a voice questioned how they dared to bully his people. Golden Lion manifested in a half-humanoid form and swiftly rescued Xiao Ling. Realizing the gravity of the situation, he had decided to use the body fragments and obtained a level 1 Yang body. He then reprimanded Xiao Ling for her recklessness, and she looked at him with a mix of shock and gratitude. Just then, Mei Yun's scream attracted their attention, and Golden Lion instructed both Xiao Ling and Candle Demon to close their ears and empty their minds. He then unleashed the lion's roar, which released energy waves. When they struck Mei Yun, her body turned to ashes, and only her weapon remained lying on the ground. Golden Lion picked up the weapon, acknowledging its worth. A system message promptly appeared, congratulating him for defeating a novice rank Awakener. This led to a substantial increase in his strength, prestige, resilience, and demonic knowledge. He had also absorbed the three life soul soil, and the acquisition of Mei Yun's sword bestowed upon him a new attribute, sword skill. He was surprised to discover that this weapon had the capability to expand his attributes. Despite the pain caused in his throat by the use of Lion's Roar, he found it worthwhile. Suddenly, he noticed the unexpected presence of hair on his chin, prompting a shocked exclamation. He criticized that system and wondered if the human form also had levels. Despite his complaints, he had to acknowledge that this form was quite handsome. A system message clarified that his body level was 1, and only 1 out of the 10 fragments was in use. Golden Lion then inspected under his pants, expressing a desire to bring this part back to its original form. Candle Demon arrived and remarked that he didn't need to exert excessive power. He had turned Mei Yun's clone into ashes, and three life soul soil had also been blown away. But he remained indifferent to the details and asserted his lack of concern for small matters. Candle Demon, however, couldn't help but praise his new look, declaring it remarkably handsome. Just then, the system informed Golden Lion of inhaling air infused with three life soul soil, resulting in an increase in his demonic knowledge and its promotion to the second level. Golden Lion couldn't help but marvel at the system's ability to enhance his strength through mere breathing. Xiao Ling bowed to him and expressed gratitude, but a window above her head indicated that the quest was still incomplete. Observing this, Golden Lion realized that her revenge was not yet accomplished, and he also lacked knowledge about the contents of the mysterious coffin. Putting on a piece of clothing, he addressed Xiao Ling, acknowledging her unwavering determination for revenge. However, if they wanted to investigate further, they had to go down the mountain. Soon, the sun began to rise, and Candle Demon hastily sought refuge in the folds of Golden Lion's clothes, recognizing her lack of a physical body. Witnessing this, Xiao Ling desperately pleaded for help and tried to join Candle Demon beneath Golden Lion's attire. Golden Lion was taken aback and rejected her attempt, emphasizing its inappropriateness. Instead, he gestured towards Mei Yun's lifeless body and proposed that she could take possession of it. However, Xiao Ling vehemently refused and started throwing a tantrum. When he asked her about her reason for refusing, she declared that Mei Yun's body was too ugly. After some time, despite her initial reluctance, Xiao Ling eventually took over Mei Yun's body. Golden Lion reminded her of the guidance given, instructing her to impersonate Mei Yun if they encountered any mercenaries on their way. Though reluctant, Xiao Ling agreed. Golden Lion then, with a smile, declared that it was time to face the mysterious organization. Xiao Ling, currently occupying Mei Yun's body, and Golden Lion, concealed in his flawless disguise, arrived at a base where a soldier greeted her as the leader. The soldier eagerly asked if she had discovered anything. Mei Yun affirmed her findings and suggested returning to their base. The soldier, filled with curiosity, asked about Golden Lion. But Mei Yun swiftly silenced any inquiries, cautioning against prying too much. Soon, the helicopter took flight toward their base, and Golden Lion received a message stating that his courage had increased since he was using a flying vehicle. 
the journey continued, and after a while, the pilot informed them that they were approaching Lion Ridge City and would be landing in 10 minutes. Below, outside the city, lay a grim scene with numerous monster corpses and people scavenging for resources. A soldier informed Mei Yun about the desperate gangs scavenging even the remains of monsters, trading organs and bones on the black market. Their audacity stemmed from the potential of finding a monster core, making them impervious to the risk of being killed by ferocious beasts. However, the soldier's laughter came to a halt when he noticed Mei Yun's serious expression. He then began praising her, acknowledging that following an awakener like her was their sole path to financial success. Meanwhile, Golden Lion observed the stark contrast between the devastated city and the flourishing Lion's Mountain. He speculated that the destruction might be a consequence of the restored spiritual energy, leading to an apocalyptic aftermath. His contemplation was abruptly interrupted by a system message, indicating that his wisdom had increased due to his feeling of pity towards them. The helicopter landed, and the pilot informed them of their arrival. Mei Yun expressed gratitude for their efforts, and with a smile, she swiftly swung her weapon, causing the instantaneous demise of all the soldiers inside. The duo stood before a colossal building and Golden Lion wondered aloud if this was the formidable organization. Candle Demon emerged from his clothing and stated that the enemy's base camp didn't look so strong, and one breath from King would be enough to turn them into ashes. However, Golden Lion remarked that there was no rush, they would play with the enemies first. Their swift and efficient prowess allowed them to quickly defeat everyone inside the base. As he inspected some clothes, Candle Demon pointed toward a room and revealed that, according to her investigation, there might be some evidence they needed. Golden Lion looked toward the archive's room, utilizing his demonic knowledge. He soon detected a girl hiding inside, holding a gun. Intrigued by the unexpected presence, he realized that they were not the only ones sneaking in here tonight. As he opened the door, the girl inside immediately fired a bullet that hit him in the chest. Witnessing this, Xiao Ling was angered and prepared to attack. But Golden Lion stopped her, assuring her that he was unharmed. He then examined the bullet that had struck him and realized that it was a bullet made out of spiritual energy. He couldn't help but wonder what kind of technology this was. The girl was equally surprised to see that spiritual energy didn't pierce through him, leaving her wondering if her opponent was awakened. Unfazed, she unleashed a barrage of bullets on Golden Lion, who remained unmoved, allowing the projectiles to hit him. With a mere flick of his finger, he disintegrated the girl's gun into pieces. He then caught her hand and warned her not to force him, as he wasn't confident in controlling his power. The girl was taken aback after seeing his appearance and realized that he was a beast man. She was shocked to think that this organization was using the monster fusion technique. But she refused to surrender and shouted for him to kill her if he wished. Golden Lion ignored her and questioned what she was doing here if she wasn't a part of the Zhang Xing group. The girl shouted loudly and refused to reveal that she had come here because their company's development project had been stolen by Zhang Xing group and she had come here to collect the evidence. A hushed silence enveloped the room as everyone marveled at her ability to hide her intentions. Just then, Golden Lion noticed something hidden in the girl's shirt. He immediately took out the document and opened it. He was shocked to see that it was a map of Lion's Mountain, and from the markings, it was certain that these people had set their sights on his territory. Just then, a helicopter descended onto the top of the building and an announcement proclaimed the arrival of Mr. Louis, the headquarters leader. Golden Lion was surprised by the swift arrival. Meanwhile, Xiao Ling controlled her anger and repeated the name with pure hatred in her eyes. The episode ends here. Let me know in comments if you want to see a follow-up episode on this series.